My name is Bernard Smilde and I'm from Holland. I'm based in Amsterdam right now, that's where I work and live. Um, what the contact started from, for me to go to Louvre was from... Um, I got contacted by Drew, the, the owner of this space, and um, he kind of yeah, he wrote me an email saying, hey, we're interested in your work, and would it be an idea to come over and talk about it? So that, in the end, we talked about it, and uh, like, um, yeah, a few months later, he said, we want to do a solo show here. So yeah, he sent me some images, and I had to look at the space, and it's really an amazing space. I'm Drew Parrish, and I'm the founder of Land of Tomorrow Gallery and also the founder and director of Parish Production, which is the father or parent company. And in its official capacity, Land of Tomorrow has been operating for three years. Prior to that, we were operating primarily as an art fabrication company, I think going as far back to 2004. Uh, I work a lot with spaces and um, working with the architecture or the history of a space. And uh, one day I was working in a miniature space, like an art project space, which was scaled almost like uh, six square meters with walls about one meter high. But because it was a model, you could kind of arrange everything in the space, you had fully control of the space. And uh, that's why I started thinking, okay, it would be great if I could exhibit a rain cloud and how to do it. So then I started experimenting with all kinds of things, looking for materials, and uh, eventually ending up using um, smoke as it has a, well, a good resemblance to, to, uh, to a cloud, and I started working with, with, with moist and backlighting and temperatures, and uh, well, that how, that's how it worked. And after that, um, I wanted to see if it would work in a conventional size space as well. So early this year, well, it was 2012, I started working in different locations. I think he is an absolute perfect fit for what we do. Um, we don't operate as a commercial space in essence, like, like what you would imagine in Chelsea or Los Angeles or London. We operate in an in-between world which is sometimes called a project space. And in project spaces, there's a lot of room for development, there's a lot of room for experimentation, there's a lot of room for collaboration. And one of the things that we love about Bruno is that Although a lot of the things and a lot of the work that he does is well published, a lot of the work is a lot really hands-on the minute it hits here. So it's a work in progress. Architecturally speaking, one of the things that I find most unique about the collaboration is that if you look at the uniqueness of the spaces that he shot previously, it's almost as if only this space could be a natural fit. Because this space, this space completely consumes most artists. Most artists come in here and they completely deteriorate and they crumble and they, they just falter sometimes if they're given the whole thing because of the enormity of what's going on here. But his medium, or his chosen medium, of the cloud is the, the perfect thing to occupy and highlight what it is that we have. Well, the spaces are, are the only thing I can really change or adapt to. So, um, the and for instance, over here in, in, in this space, I changed the light by putting blue film on the, on the windows to get more contrast. Um, other than that, I can have an idea of where I want to position the cloud. And um, so then I just started testing with, with, with temperature, moist, backlighting, and uh, do lots of lots of tests and, well, then make hundreds of pictures and then select one to be the work. That's basically how it works. Initially, for the cloud, I wanted to make like an omnia situation inside the space that you just be confronted with the only thing there being the cloud and nothing on show, uh, nothing there to see. But um, I mean, the cloud can mean lots of things. And I kind of like the idea that through centuries, people have projected so many um, ideas to it. That's, that's also because you cannot really grasp it, and therefore, uh, people have given that their own meaning. So it can mean different, different things. Well, I won't be making just clouds. I do other works as well, and I want to focus on them as well. Also, the, the works that are over there, like that also work with interior parts and reference to it. Um, I think I will concentrate on that more, and I'm planning on in the future. Well, this, this year I'm going to work with, um, with a film producer as well for uh, collaborating on a horror movie. So that's something totally different, but uh, yeah, that will be nice. <laughs> <laughs>